Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pagey, here once again with another video on The Flash Season 9. So we are over the, we are, I guess over, yeah, we are over that first week of the break we're currently in for The Flash's ninth and final season with us now officially under the two-week mark until that long-awaited episode, that being episode nine that will feature the returns of Oliver Queen to the Arrowverse two years after his death in Crisis on Infinite Earths with us also getting the return of Bloodwork and Wally West, who were last seen back in season six. And of course, that being the same season as Crisis. And then you have your boy Diggle also tagging along, though it hasn't been too long since we last saw him, but I guess it's still good to see him for what also appears to be his last appearance ever in the Arrowverse, though it was said last season's appearance with, uh, appearance with him, you know, throwing away that Green Lantern box was the last appearance, but I guess, I mean, who cares? Still good to have Diggle back regardless. Now, we have, of course, received the trailer for this episode. We got a shorter promo style that came after the episode and that will be used in ad breaks and everything like that, but a longer one was released earlier on that day, like, I guess a week ago, uh, that was ex uh, released exclusively by TV Line. But since the release of that trailer, we've also gotten some other promo material in the form of a synopsis or description for the episode, as well as some promo images. So in this video, we're going to go over both of those, as well as some uh, top theories and curiosities, if you want to put it from you guys. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. But of course, throughout the video, be sure to let me know in the comment section down below your general thoughts, but also let me know what are you looking forward to most in this specific episode? Is it Oliver Queen coming back? Is it Wally? Is it Deagle? Is it Bloodwork? Is just the entire thing? Let me know what you're looking forward to the most. I'm very curious to hear what, got, you, know, what you guys are most looking forward to at the very least. And of course, if you're going to enjoy the video, I want to show you support. Looking forward to this episode and just the end of this uh, final season. You know, drop a like on the video. It takes two seconds. So yeah, let's first go over the synopsis or description for episode nine, otherwise entitled, It's My Party and I'll Die If I Want To. Team Flash throws a surprise birthday party for Barry, but things go terribly awry when uh, Ramsey Rosso crashes the festivities. So yeah, it's a very short, very sweet, very brief synopsis. No spoilers at all. There's not even any mention of anyone outside of Barry and Ramsey Rosso or, you know, Bloodwork. So no mention of Oliver, no mention of Diggle, no mention of Wally. You know, the, the thing's been pushed that Wally is like the the core of this episode and the heart of the episode. So no mention of him, but of course they probably want to keep things uh, somewhat spoiler free. And of course there was the break between, you know, last episode airing and episode nine. So maybe that plays into the synopsis, not really having any spoilers and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, that's probably why it's so brief. But yeah, let's not waste any more time. Let's get into the primary images. Now, the unfortunate thing with this is that, you know, we'd want like 13 or 27 or 33 primary images to be, you know, coming our way early on. There might be more that come out maybe in the week of the episode coming out. But at this point, unfortunately, there was only three. Yes, one, two, three. There was only three primary images. Uh, and they don't actually reveal too much, but you know what? They're still worth looking at and uh, going, oh, I can't wait till this episode ends. Let's just bring it on. Hurry up. Let's fast forward a couple of weeks. So yeah, the first primary image here is of Ramsey Rosso and Barry. Now, the one thing you can tell is that they are in the room uh, in Star Labs where they were throwing Barry's birthday party. So what it seems here is that if you've seen the trailer, uh, the, obviously everyone takes like a, like a drink of champagne to celebrate like a toast, like they're celebrating Barry's birthday and everyone starts to pass out. Now we see like, like I think Iris passes out. I think we see like maybe Cecile go and then Diggle go, but we don't see Barry go down cause he obviously can just absorb it and not really be affected by it. Uh, and maybe the intention, the intention is also not to knock out Barry as well, but we don't see if Wally goes down. Um, and obviously we know that there's some weird stuff going on with blood work and Wally in the episode. So that's a wait and see as to exactly how that exactly happens and where it lines up in the episode. But we can see Ramsey and Barry talking here. So obviously when everyone gets knocked out, it's, it appears that Ramsey probably walks in and goes, ha ha ha, I wonder who did that. Oh, it was me sucked in. Now, exactly what Ramsey is trying to do in this episode is another question. We know he's going to target Wally and infiltrate Wally and everything like that. And of course, there's going to be, have to, you have to think there's going to be some sort of like revenge plan if you want to put it against Barry, but it's not been properly laid out because that's for us to, you know, watch the episode and find out, of course. But like Barry doesn't seem that threatened here. He's sort of like, just, he doesn't look scared. He's just talking to, you know, Ramsey, just like, oh, this doesn't really matter too much. So there's not much fear from Barry's side, which is pretty interesting. Um, but I'm very curious to see how Ramsey gets his hands on Wally, if that is after this sequence. Um, cause we don't know if 
you know, before this point, Ramsey's already met with Wally and they've already, he's maybe already like gotten to Wally's head or something like that. It didn't appear that Wally had any sort of weird control over him. It seemed like Wally was pretty normal, but that's for us to wait and see in the actual episode, I guess. But the next couple of promo images are just in like the final fight scene. So we do have uh, Barry and Oliver here, which is a pretty cool pose. It's a bit dark, but what can you do? I wish it was a bit lighter, but yeah, just them together, which is still cool to see. And then the final one is the the, the group shot where we can see Wally West back to normal. So obviously this really highlights it's right at the end. Now they seem to be looking at the ground, which is probably like Ramsey, like defeated on the ground, maybe potentially, or maybe his blood work form has like fallen to the ground or collapsed or something along those lines. But yeah, you get the cool shot of Diggle, Oliver, Barry and Wally all standing side by side, which we'd seen like other like set photos from, but this is obviously the official one. And uh, it looks pretty cool. I'm like, I still think Wally's suit is decent enough. I saw people going, oh, he needs to get a new suit. And like, even for one episode, he needs it looks so dated. I still think it looks pretty fine, especially for someone that wouldn't be running around as Kid Flash day to day, like Barry is as the Flash. So I think, you know, Wally's suit is fine for what it is. Could it be better? Yeah, but it's not. Def it's definitely not bad. It's definitely not, uh, not bad. But um, yeah, this group shot is uh, pretty damn cool. But yeah, to end off the video, we're gonna go over the top theories and just curiosities and just questions that people have leading into this ninth episode. Not the ending of the season as a whole, but just specifically this ninth episode, because people are just wondering how certain things are gonna play out and what might be included now. One thing that I don't think many people were thinking about too much, like it might've been there, like some people were thinking about it, but not a lot of people until the trailer came out. And that is the multiverse stuff and the multiverse references. Now, I think I said in my, I don't know if it was my trailer breakdown or the video that we did talking about Wally, maybe. Uh, I don't know if there's gonna be an overabundance of references to the multiverse, just minor ones that maybe spur on what Ramsey Rose or Bloodwork is trying to do and trying to get through to Wally. I don't know if there's gonna be a massive abundance of them. I think it's just gonna be a smaller part just because we, at least from what we can tell, it doesn't look like we're traveling through the multiverse or meeting any new Earths and new characters from those specific Earths or anything like that. I think it's just going to be like loosely referenced as a point to push one, I guess, story along, but also the motivations of certain characters. So I wouldn't jump into this episode expecting a lot of that stuff, um, but I'm sure there'll be some references there like we saw in the trailer. But even then I was rewatching the trailer, like when I was writing my notes for this video, and I think they, they actually reuse the audio from Crisis when Oliver is like reinstating the new multiverse. I think they just reuse that audio and even maybe the, the clip that was playing at the exact same time when he said that audio in that episode. So even that might suggest that Oliver doesn't even mention the multiverse at that point, but yeah, we'll have to wait and see. But speaking of Oliver, a lot of people are wondering why would Oliver come back as Green Arrow and not as like his overpowered Spectre form? And I guess that's a valid question. The episode might explain that, but I'm just going to give it a cool answer. Or well, not a cool answer, like, oh yeah, this is the coolest answer you can give, but like a fan answer. We all want him to see him back as Green Arrow. No one wants to see him wearing that big green hood. We want him back as Oliver Queen in the Green Arrow suit, bow and arrow, everything like that, teaming up with the Flash. We want to see him as that. That's why he's wearing it. <laughs> I don't know, there might not be a lot of logic around it, but I'm fine with it. I'd rather see him running around with a bow and arrow than like waving his hands around a spectre. I think that's an obvious answer. <laughs> there might be some logic leaps there, but you know what? I wouldn't really care too much. And the next thing is, I think about Wally and people are just wondering how the show is going to say goodbye to Wally. So it's been said that Wally is like the emotional core and heart of this episode. So how do they farewell the character following that thing? And it depends, I guess, what the story is. The story might sort of address Wally's journey and the trauma that he's had pretty much since the get go. Like he came in, you know, thrown into this new life with his long lost father and sister, then lost his mother, then lost Jesse quick, and then sort of, you know, lost his purpose, if you want to call it, or just struggled to find his purpose. So they might sort of tap into that for the, his story throughout this episode that then leads into this goodbye where maybe he finds that purpose and what he wants to do. So that might be how they wrap up Wally's story. Doing it in one episode will be a tough gig, especially when you still have Oliver Queen, Diggle and Bloodwork coming into things as well. But I think that's where they're going to try and aim it. Um, aim it. And also, I'm, they're not going to like kill Wally off. I don't think they're going to say like, oh, he stops being Kid Flash. But I think they'll give him like a decent goodbye in regards to just Keenan Lonsdale playing the character. So I'm intrigued to see what they do. Um, but I don't know if it's going to be like a ridiculously fleshed out thing. Just more of a focus thing, if that makes sense. But speaking of focus, there is this uh, curiosity, which comes from me as well, because I read them, but that is, is there going to be a connection to the Earth Prime comics and just the comic cliffhanger 
that we got in that series with Cisco and Argus noticing that blood workers escaped. And I would assume yes, but I think it's going to be very loosely referenced. I think I said this in, a, in the trailer breakdown. I don't think I don't think there's going to be like a ridiculous amount of like flashbacks to it or focus on it. Just like a, oh, I escaped because this an alarm thing happened and I was able to escape. And maybe like that's maybe like Diggle got an alert, but maybe Bloodwork's been out and about for a couple of months. Maybe he's been away planning. Um, so they knew about it, but they just couldn't find Bloodwork, and now he just shows up at this point. So that might be what happens there. So I think there will be a connection there because it's a pretty easy one to do. They can just slot it into the script, just have Bloodwork say that he, how he escaped or have Diggle bring it up because he has connections to Argus and everything like that. Um, but yeah, I don't know if there's going to be like a flashback to it or it's going to be the opening scene of him getting out of Argus. I think it just might be referenced like verbally in the script. And then finally, and this might be one of the more emotional parts for a lot of people, and that is the Oliver and I guess as well Diggle goodbyes in this episode. And I don't know if they're going to give a strict goodbye. Because the thing is, Oliver's dead. I mean, that's the elephant in the room. Oliver's dead. Sure, he's still Spectre, but I don't know if they're going to give him a goodbye, like a proper goodbye scene. Like there might be something with him and Barry, where it might be Barry saying goodbye. Um, but that's because like Oliver died and like Barry had like watched him die and there was no proper goodbye there, like at least a like a pos- in a positive sense. So that might be what happens there. Diggle's the one that obviously is still alive. And they sort of like wrapped up the character decently well last season. So I don't know if they'd bother doing it now because they already sort of did it where he's like, he's going to, you know, he's, he's ditched the box. He's ditched that sort of thing that was clinging onto him and that decision that he had to make. And he's able to go spend time with his family and everything like that. So that was sort of Diggle's goodbye then. So I don't know if they really have to do it. And you can argue they had Oliver's goodbye in his final season of Arrow. So I think if there's one character that's going to get the focus for a goodbye, it's probably Wally, though they might do something with Oliver as well, just more in like an Oliver and Barry sense and Barry getting a proper goodbye to Oliver. Though Oliver's a Spectre, so we like in the future, they probably run into each other again in some way. So... They might not even do that, but that's a wait and see. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, it'd be awesome if you could drop a like on it, show support. Let me know in the comment section down below your various opinions and all the stuff that we went over in this video. Always curious to read what you guys are thinking. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And um, yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.